Okay, in this tutorial, I'll take a look at the editing tools once again and show you how I made this quick little arch structure in case maybe you want to do some architectural type work of sorts. All right, and then also I'll start from scratch with uh, the basic piece that I started with, which is just this little square shape like this. All right, so from here I'm in ortho mode, and what I want to be able to do is I want to take this top piece and I want to rotate it around like this. I'm not going to rotate it all the way, I'm going to rotate it halfway and I'll show you why. So I'll go into edit mode, deselect with A, I'll make sure this is off here like this, that way when I select with bounding box I've selected both sides, you can see now I've got the front and the back vertices like that. All right, and then before I rotate this around, this is that's going to be on my Y axis that I want to rotate it around. If I just typically use the standard place where it's set, either active element or medium point, it's going to, well, it's actually at the active element, then it's going to rotate around this point. But I want to rotate it around some point out here. I'm just going to pick a arbitrary point that's kind of aligned with this, but you can make it perfectly aligned if you want. So I'll just move my cursor up to here. And that's let's do, I'm going to approximate it so it's approximately the same elevation for now. All right, so then before I rotate, I want to change my pivot point to pivot around the 3D cursor. Okay, so then now with this selected, I'm going to type E R Y and then negative one five, and I'll press enter. All right, so I've rotated around that pivot point. And I'll just do it again: E R Y negative one five. And I'll just do this wide a couple of times till I get about E R Y negative one five R Y negative one five E R Y negative one five. I guess one more I'm gonna need. And then E R Y negative one five and enter again. Alright. So there we have it there. So then I can click that. So now I have the half arch is which is what I wanted and we'll take a look at it here. Okay, that looks fine. All right. So, now before I do anything, I want to I'm basically going to flip these vertices in uh using the modifier, all right? So, I'll come over to here and I'll go get the mirror modifier and by default it's set to the x axis. So, it mirrors across this axis here. And so now I have this shape which is what I want. And but before I actually, then I'm going to use the array modifier to actually make the arch and just extend it out how far I want. But before I do, there's one other thing that I need to take care of, and that is that, well, first of all, I need to do is, I need to, uh, well, yeah, I'll apply it. I'll apply it now. Then I want to go into edit mode. And down here, you can see there's these points down here. Since I mirrored it, it's going to have mirrored these points. Let's see how many vertices. It says 864. 8 selected out of 64 total. So I'm going to just select these down here. And it says there are 16 out of 64. But you might think there's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's twice as many because when it mirrored it, it duplicated the vertices. So I don't want to do that because you start making huge models then you start having all these extra faces. In fact, how many faces are in the thing? There's 58 faces. No, 10 selected out of 58 total. So let's look. So there's 64 and 58. So from here with edit mode, I'll go to mesh and vertices and then down here I'm going to remove the doubles like this. Or the, remember those numbers are 64 and 58. Said it removed 8 vertices. So there it is. Now it's 56 and 53 so it saved me five faces and eight vertices like that okay so now that we have that then we'll now go into perspective mode and see the design the way it looks like so it's this half piece like this right and then I could just use an array modifier there it is I start right up crank it out and I can just make it how I want right so it's a quick and easy way and you know if you wanted to be even more precise as far as where your point was at the start you could subdivide this line and put a point right in the middle here maybe add an empty you know move your cursor to that point add an empty to that point and then move that empty along the x axis till you get to some point and then you add your cursor there that way you would know it would be at least aligned with that point in the center but I just eyeballed it for the moment and even that 
works out pretty nice. But if I was going to do a, a complete design, I'd actually put my place my cursor exactly where I wanted it in the first place. Okay, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.